Michelle Nichols from Nichols and Dimes DIY and welcome to our first episode, the Mother's Day edition. Now I'm going to show you how to make a really simple but very cute art piece that you can give to your mom that's not going to remind her of those things that you made in kindergarten that she pretends to like but really doesn't. Okay, let's get started. Hey guys, I wanted to just give you a really, really quick little tutorial on how I made this. Um, it, yeah, I'm just in paint. You don't need anything really, you know, fancy for this at all. All I did was I just started off and picked a background color. I actually didn't like the color that they had, so I went and took lime. And you can actually press the edit colors button, and you can make it, and then press the add custom colors button beautiful and you can make your own so I can do whatever I want here and then I can add my custom color and then it pops up on here for me to use yeah and that's what I did because all the other colors were bright 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 green and I wanted a, a paler green and then I just used um, the text button and made a and typed this all up. I picked a font and a color that I liked. It was the color that they already had, which is this dark turquoise color. And picked a bunch of different font sizes, the same font though, it's Times New Roman. And then I used the select button right here and I selected it like that. And then I pressed the crop button, and so it cut out all this other negative space, and it just had the cutout the way I wanted it. And that's all I did. And then I just saved it, and when it saves, it ends up as a JPEG. And then you can just bring it up in your um, pictures. And it automatically brought it up in this Windows Live Photo Gallery for me. And then there's a little print button right here, tab. And you print. And it allows you to choose what size you want. So that's a full photo, which is 8.5 by 11, 8 by 10, 4 by 6. I did a 4 by 6. So that's what it's going to look like. I just did one and then you press print and make sure that everything's in properly. Make sure all of your settings are proper so you've got all of your settings to the correct kind of paper you're using. If you're using cardstock, if you're using uh, only black ink, you know, click the only black ink button. It'll help save some ink and just press print. For those of you who couldn't figure out the Facebook hint, this was what it was for. It was the Moroccan little Marrakesh design that I, I chose it in like a navy color so you could see the design well, but um, it's a tone on tone uh, kind of white one. I'll show you a, up close in a second. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, the first thing that we're going to work on is this Bible quote that I picked or whatever song lyrics or um, quotations or poem that you picked. Now how big or small you need this will depend on your the size of your picture frame. So buy your frame first so you know what size to do this. Just pick the size you want and then print. I print it on photo paper, you can print it on cardstock, you can print it on printed paper. As long as you're still able to see the text, that's fine. If you want to save a little money on your ink, you can buy colored paper, colored cardstock, something like that instead, and that way you can save a little money, but I've got a pretty good printer, so I just printed it like that. Once you have printed out your beautiful image, you're going to need to cut it out. I have an X-Acto knife. You could use, uh, they have those fancy paper cutter things that you use for 
wrapping paper, you can use that or you can use scissors. Be super, super careful with this. As you can see, I'm cut. Why they don't, the packaging doesn't come with this on it. It comes with it separately. Not so great for my hand, but I do this for you. I will be okay, but be very careful because this is very sharp. Okay, so you're going to take it off because hopefully wherever you're storing it, you're keeping the cap on. And you're just gonna use your little straight edge. If you need to, I like using a little clipboard. I'm putting it upside down because that's just easier for me. Okay, and then you're just going to go right along the line and be very careful. Not just for your hand's sake, but you want this to look good and not junky. Now one thing you can do if you're a little worried about your quote getting cut off, you can put a another color border around it. So even if it barely fits, the words themselves are in the middle and the borders around it. And that's the only thing that will get cut off. Sometimes it just needs a little oomph. And there you go. And if you have to make any adjustments, you can make them because it's an X-Acto knife and it's awesome like that. If it's not perfect, as I said, you know, you can leave yourself a little room. I kind of cut it a little close here, but you can leave yourself a little room to make a little bit of an error and it's perfectly okay because it's going to go in the mat. It's fine. Um, it's going to go back here and you're going to take a little fake family picture out mm. I also really like front ones too the ones that open up in the front because they're even if you mount them on the wall they're really easy to and those are really good mounted on walls they're really easy to change Just wanted to show you guys a little close up of this piece. That way you can see everything. It's kind of a dark turquoise over a sage green. It's got a cool little Marrakesh print. And this is the mounting. It's a damage free way to mount something, and you just pay attention to how many pounds it can hold. And you're You'll be fine. You won't damage your wall or anything. And I'm bleeding already. Okay. Well, let's see if this worked. Not so much. That's terrible.